Hello friends, um, welcome to today's tutorial. Um, today I'll be showing you how to do, um, how to make your own electrical drawings in a, in a, in a building. Um, what you see on your screen now is um, a basement and I will be fixing, uh, I'll be seeing how to fix the light, how to connect the switches to the lights in your drawings and then how to put in your um receptacle or your plugs everywhere in the building um so this is what i want the finish uh drawing to look like and i will do it this in i think two parts part one and part two so um to get started first of all this is i have it all in here so what i'll do is this is the ceiling plan i will just um delete what i have done before and then start all over and show you guys okay um, so I have removed all my lights. Uh, let me zoom in on this. Okay, delete all of those. And delete all of those. Select that, select an all instances, and then hit delete button, and then they are gone. Yep, so now this is as good as new again. So to insert your um, plugs, what you do first is you click on components, load family, electrical. Um, you should you should click, if you don't know where to find all of these in the load, uh, when you click load family, you can use US Imperial. You have that and then you can click on electrical click on architecture and you click on electrical power and you click on terminals not distributed terminals so in i need this outlet i will use this um the gfi that one is good for places where like um above countertops or your island um let's say in your bathroom above your vanity countertop um this is where you can have water around um, your outlet you use the gfi the next one that you also need you will need something like um the switch the single switch um you have uh, this switch two and switch three um uh, switch two is for um places where you want to have two switches um uh, controlling one light and then three switches yeah um, so you click on open and now they are all loaded into your, your project. You can go on and find what you're looking for. I will start with the, the GFI one. Just scroll down. I think I passed it. Here we go. So you have the single switch. You have... The square return and oh oops give me a sec let me find this just gonna type it in here there it is all right that was easier so I have a counter I have a counter right here I'm gonna put one right here and then put another up here um, for my island just on both sides i'll just put one right there for my island in the in the kitchen in the basement now for the bathroom i'm gonna have one here one here and then that will be all for my i and one here yeah and that's what that's all i want to have for the um, gfi outlet now for the single outlet I will just have oh then I'll have the range. Um the range is good for places where you will have your stove. So let's see if I have my stove here, I'll, I'll I can put that one right here. And then that one works just fine. Um that is also uh, an out an outlet, but this time for like a stove or whatnot. Then this then yes, this is what I want. This one we will have it on every wall. You want to have it on every wall. Um, for example, a room like this, you want to have one here, there, there, 
um, I mean here, and then here. Um, the I think the rule is to have its minimum of six feet away from six feet apart, and then I think a maximum of fifteen feet, I guess. Uh, so I'll start from here. I'm going to have. Let me just start from this room. I'll have one right here at the door. Um, another one at this door. I'll have one right here. I'll have one here. One there. When you open the door, I'll have one right here. And then, yeah, I have one there too. I'll have one right here. One here. One just when you open the door, so it's easy to access. Here, here. Um, let's say here and then somewhere there. Okay, I'll have one also next to this here, and then one is door, one right here. We have one there too, that's fine. Now, in here, I'll, have, I'll put one there, one there, let's say maybe one here, have another here. Have another there. Never mind. Let's undo that one. Okay. Now let's have it there. 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 Okay. I'll have one here and then one there. I'll have one here and then one right in here. I also put one um, head escape. Right there in front of the door. When you open the door, you can see that right in front. I will have one here and then another, maybe one more here. I want to have one here when I open the door, one on this side also. I'll have one here, here, and probably there too. I have one here, have one there, have one there. I have one here. Yeah, I think that looks good. Oh, wait, and this side. I have one on this end, and then another on this end. Yep, that looks fine. Now now I have my, my outlets um, all around. So, yeah, this is how you do it for the first part. And uh, with this, you can just hit save and save it or you can do control s on your on your keyboard to save your project so now you have your range your um outlet gfi which are supposed to be uh on top of the counters where you have water and um i have one here and one there and then my rooms have some in, in everywhere so depending on how you want things to be you can put your um outlets Anywhere you want, some you can have some on the ground if you wish, or in your closet. Um, I don't know why you would want one there, but yeah, you do not want to put your outlets behind your door because that's not really convenient. Uh, but if you are good, you'll put one here. Just yep, and this is what I have for you for today. Um, in the part two, I'll go on to show you how to do the light bulbs and then the switches in there. Um, this will all be for now. Thank you.